How many chests could I hide in this room? Is generally the first thing that pops into my head when I walk into a new space, which I know is slightly weird. I'm now starting to understand why I don't get invited to too many people's houses. But today we're actually going to get an answer to that question. I'm going to try and hide as many chests as possible into this small little room. Let's start with the floor. I mean, come on, this thing is asking to have a bunch of chests hidden inside of it. It's bright red. It's basically screaming hide chests in me. So my plan of action is I'm going to have the entirety of the floor drop down to reveal almost like a small storage system down underneath here. I mean, I guess in theory, I could make the entire floor a flying machine that just descends down to the bottom of the world, giving us hundreds of layers of chests. But that seems like cheating. I kind of want to keep this slightly within the realms of reality. But I do think I'm on the right track making use of flying machines, as that seems like the simplest way to retract our floor. Otherwise, we'd have to make use of some really big piston extenders, and it would just be a big mess. So hopefully, hopefully this should in theory work at least a little, a little bit. Okay, floor goes downwards and... Oh, the floor's not going to stop, is it? I currently have nothing in place to stop our flying machine, so it would just continue onwards through our roof, which isn't ideal. But having looked at this for a second, I actually don't think we need to stop this section. I think we can actually stop the bottom section and that will work nicely. So we activate this to get it going. That's all good. And then we can activate this one again to get it going downwards. I mean, that is perfect. That was a lot simpler than I was expecting. So we've got all of our slime blocks, we've got all of our honey blocks. Now I'm just putting the carpet back in place. And now everything should be all completed. Now I've got it all hooked up to a lever at the minute, which I know isn't particularly very hidden. I'll get onto that in a little bit. But first... Uh, okay, uh, clearly I haven't hooked it up to a lever. Let's just quickly inspect what's happened here. Oh, I've... Yep, that... Oh, it, it worked and I wasn't even looking. Uh, might just be the worst reveal of a redstone contraption I've ever done. But it is, it is all working and it does look ridiculously cool, doesn't it? This thing is awesome. I mean, that is satisfying. And there are 80 chests down here. So I think it's safe to say we are off to a very strong start. Now let's move on to the walls. And that is an aspect that I kind of didn't think of. There's the fact that, well, we've got, we've got chests in the way of something that I wanted to do. Is there anything that we can do here? Uh, okay, well, we can use... Hmm, this is interesting. See, I kind of wanted both of these walls to open up fully, but if there's chests in the way, then I can't get these stairs out of the way. One option is for me to pull the wall back and then pull the wall downwards. I mean, that... That's still kind of cool. Or maybe down, across, and then back down again. It's slightly more challenging, but it gives us less offset of the chests. So I power this one, then I power this one, and then this one. Okay, and then I, I guess the reverse. That does work. And actually, after doing that little lever trial, I don't think I have to do anything fancy. I mean, that works. Uh, and there there it is. <laughs> okay. Well. Well. Sometimes in life, the redstone contraptions just come easier than expected. And I've learned I have to relish in these moments. Because they don't happen that often. In fact, at this point, I'm rather afraid. Because that's twice in one day. Which means I'm in for a horrible afternoon. So that should be this bottom side all done and dusted. That looks so cool. And then I have to flip the circuit upside down for the top half. Which, that is looking good. And that's looking good. In fact, all of it is looking good and all seems to be working, apart from the fact that I built the entire top section one block too low. Which is excellent. I told you. It's all been too easy so far. The tide's changing. This redstone contraption is so big for what it does. But I have to say, you know, it does... It does look cool. I mean, I cannot wait to see what that looks like from the inside. But first, I have to do all of this on this wall as well. I'm gonna do something slightly different on these other ones. Quite a bit of time has passed, but I now have everything set up for these two walls and everything is all connected up with this lever right here. And I've gotta say, I'm rather nervous. But I've checked and triple checked everything. So it should all work and it does work and it looks... I mean, come on, this is like something James Bond would have in his house. That is the most satisfying thing. I really like the opening sequence of these. <laughs> like the the open, back, and then down again. I mean, that is like... 
Oh, and it's all in sync as well. Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy. The time spent was well worth it. So now let's move on to these other two walls here. And, uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't actually have a plan for them. So just give me some time to think about this one. Come on, brain. Brain? The problem is, these two were so cool that now anything I do in this area isn't gonna look so cool. I'm a victim of my own success. Oh, don't mind me just doing something incredibly boring. Boring's a bit harsh. They're just simple little piston doors that open up to reveal a whole bunch more chests. I mean, I have absolutely no idea what total we're up to right now, but it is a lot of hidden chests in this small space. So now let's go to the roof. And for this, I'm thinking we have a ring of pistons that will retract our roof blocks. Apart from this area in the middle here, so then we should be able to access a ring of chests going all the way around here and also a little square of chests in the center. And hooking that up is ridiculously simple. It's probably the easiest part of the entire thing. We just need a line of redstone on top of the pistons and that should do the trick. So now let's get all of our chests in. On a quick note though, who needs to hide this much stuff? Like who, <laughs> who is hiding this much? And whoever they are, they need to be stopped, all right? The police needs to go to the house immediately. Secretive activities aside, I now have everything all completed, everything all hooked up, and everything all ready to go. And I've hooked it up to a secret activation device so that the thing is actually hidden. There's not like a lever on the wall because hidden chests aren't that hidden if you can see how to reveal them. So all I have to do is throw my give me chests paper into this corner right here, and then everything should happen. Goodness gracious me, <laughs> that's a lot of chests. <laughs> that is so many chests. My paper's been returned, that is excellent. Uh, okay, yeah, there's, there's lots of stuff available here. I've even lost my orientation in the room. Where do I throw this back? Is it here? That's it. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> this is this is such a silly system. I don't even know where to look. Everything just kicks off. It all just fires. I am taking drastic measures here. I'm taking incredibly drastic measures. This is... I'm doing it for the good. The good of the video. Yep, there we go. That is everything. And... Wow. <laughs> Amazing. That looked great, didn't it? That looked fantastic. What happens if I zoom in? When I zoom in, it's like a regular distance away. I look like I'm on... Oh, gosh. Who plays like this? Oh, my goodness. Now, this feels weird. This feels way too close now. So, to quickly return to the question that I posed in the title of this video. Uh, how many chests can I hide in this room? The answer is a lot. I can hide a lot of chests in a room. Too many chests, in fact. This is... This is ridiculous. That is so many chests. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I like hiding stuff. What can I say? I'm like a golden retriever or something.